Hi, good morning. Thank you all for uh, coming today. I'd like to thank Supervisor Angie Carpenter, the town of Islip, and uh, the Animal Shelter for hosting us here today. This week is National Pet Week, and for many of us, pets are a very, very important uh, part of our families. As a Suffolk County Sheriff, my priority is not only to keep our residents safe, but also our four-legged members of our community as well. The Humane Society estimates that each year approximately 10 million pets are lost in the United States, and millions of those end up in our nation's animal shelters. Last week alone, I had my own little experience where I was driving home less than a block away from my house. I saw a dog wandering down the street, and so I stopped, got out of my car, left my door open. As I was looking for the dog, I didn't realize that he jumped into my car. So I drove him to my home, had to put my two dogs outside, and I didn't know what to do. I called my staff. They were sending a vehicle over with a uh, cage uh, so they can come and pick him up. So I decided to sit on my porch and wait for my staff to come, and ironically, the owner drove by, very, very uh, appreciative to the fact that I had uh, rescued her pet since she was getting ready to get on a plane. So this story is it was one of many that occurs throughout our nation, and only 15% of dogs and 2% of ca uh, cats in shelters are ever reunited with their owners. Today I'm launching the county's first ever Lost Pet Work Network in an effort to help reunite pets with their forever families. When a pet is lost, yes, that's right. <laughs> when a pet is lost, Suffolk County residents utilize many, many websites and social media posts, and even posting flies around their neighborhood to try and find their lost pet. This new countywide program will help to swiftly locate missing pets by utilizing an ID-driven database to send alerts to deputy sheriffs and our municipal par partners. In addition, Suffolk County's first ever lost pet work network will also provide participating owners with a printed pet identification card. Residents can enroll in the program and request their free pet ID card at www.suffolksheriff.com. The information collected will also include the breed, address, contact information, and any medical needs of the pet. It will be stored in a database which will be held, held by the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office and we will share that information with a, uh, ownership if a pet is gone lost. The pet ID card has been a, a designated phone number for owners to call if the pet goes missing. And in the case of a reported missing pet, information to be sent to our deputies who are out on patrol. They will not actually go out and look for the pet, but if they are on patrol, they will keep alert, alert and be on the lookout for that particular pet. Any lost pet alerts will also be posted on our website and social media pages, as well as being sent to local shelters. Each pet is designated as a unique number uh, on the ID card, and it will link to a database to the Sheriff's Office so we can quickly disseminate all the information about the pet to the proper stakeholders. These ID cards are an uh, added extra level of protection to help reunite the pet with their families. I look forward to embarking on this new program that will hopefully help return more dogs and cats back to their loving families. Now, I would oh, like I'm to so first, happy. first we have to let the supervisor speak. <laughs> now I would like to graciously ask our host, Supervisor Angie Carpenter, to say a few words. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sheriff. And, uh, you know, if we didn't know that our sheriff has a heart, uh, thank you for sharing that story because it reinforced what we all know. Uh, caring enough to get out of your car and rescue that dog uh, to a happy conclusion to the pet owner. Uh, as the sheriff said, this is National uh, Pet Week. This is, uh, was established over 40 years ago and it's really an affirmation, I think, of the bond that people have with their pets. And the initiative that the sheriff is announcing this morning here at our shelter certainly is going to go a long way in keeping uh, people with their pets, reuniting them when they're lost, and inevitably that does happen. Uh, but it, it, I really have to applaud you for doing this. And I know that I speak for our staff here at our animal shelter, and as you can see, this is a fairly new facility. Uh, it replaces one that was in place for over 50 years in our town, opened last fall in uh, a very, very um, warm, welcoming environment, not only for our pets, but for the public coming in to adopt
pets, and there are many, as you can see, we've got a few out here this morning. Uh, so please get the word out to come to our shelter. But I know that this means a lot to all of the shelters across our county, this initiative that the sheriff has put forward. So on behalf of all of the residents in our wonderful town, especially those who are lucky enough to have pets as part of their lives, uh, we want to thank Sheriff Toulon and his staff for all that they have done in this initiative. Thank you so much. Thank you, Supervisor. And now, I've been given the honor of introducing a gentleman who is no stranger to the pet and animal community, uh, is part of SPCA of Suffolk County, who has been involved for so very many years, and that is Roy Gross. Roy? Thank you, Lindsay. First, I'd like to applaud Sheriff Toulon for taking this initiative. This is so important to us and, of course, to everyone here in Suffolk County. Um, unfortunately, one out of three pets will get lost at some point during their lives. And most people think of pets, as probably all of us here, as a family member. So when your pet is lost, just think about that. That animal cannot speak up and cannot say anything or say, where, where do I live? It's just the same situation that just happened with Sheriff Toulon with the Golden Retriever. And I, I just, the idea is here, this, this is a great initiative. I'm so, we're so supportive of it. But what I'd like to try to get out there is let's try to prevent your pets from getting lost in the first place. There are many reasons why pets get lost. At certain times of the year, like thunder, for example, a storm, the thunder, a dog gets nervous, will run. Um, you know, during the 4th of July or any fireworks gets set off that will have animals take off on you. And a lot of animals can, like dogs, could find their way home, but like in a snowstorm, they can lose the scent. So you really want to try to prevent them from getting lost in the first place. Unfortunately, there are people out there that will use these animals or steal these animals. Uh, unfortunately, some of them may end up as bait dogs, That's where they use the dog fighting uh, to train their, their pit bulls. Uh, it's just a horrible, horrible thing. And we had the French Bulldogs that were recently stolen. One of them actually broke into somebody's house to steal their dogs. Some of these dogs could be worth thousands and thousands of dollars, if I'm understanding, up to $8,000, depending, depending on, on the dog. So really what we want to try to do is prevent it from happening in the first place. But this initiative, I applaud Sheriff, Sheriff Toulon for taking this on. Uh, again, I, I, I can't thank him enough for doing this. And I'm, I'm pl very pleased to be here and be part of this as well. Thank you so much. Thank you both. Are there any questions? Sheriff, how would this work? So if somebody loses a dog, as you said, normally you go on social media, put yourself fine. What would happen under your program? What we, we're hoping is that uh, people that own uh, pets will download the form, complete it, send a picture of their pet to us. And then if the pet is lost, not only would we alert uh, our staff that may be on patrol in certain areas, but also we would post it on our social media, we would notify shelters, and we would keep a database, you know, in case, God forbid, that those, uh, the, you know, future pets are lost. So how is this an improvement over, like, what happens now? Is this much more organized and centralized? Well, it's centralized and organized because right now there is nothing in Suffolk County to really assist pets that are lost. And so what we're doing is trying to centralize it, and we're going to take the lead on this, and we're going to work with all of our county and, and local partners to make sure that if a pet is lost, we can try and re reunite them with their family members. So I would imagine, and I have a question. So uh, in, we are gonna have to embark upon an education process so that pet owners know to register their animals, correct? Correct. So we certainly at the shelter, we're gonna have to edu uh, embark upon an education process to encourage any pet owner out there to register their pets with the sheriff's office with this program. Then we as a town operating a shelter can share that information when someone comes in to adopt a pet, we can make sure they have the information to say to them, look, in addition to everything that we went th through here today, you wanna protect your pet in case they get lost and here's this wonderful program that's been initiated by the sheriff of Suffolk County. Correct? Thank you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, if an officer is in patrol in a certain area, they will be notified, but their primary responsibility will not be to go and look for a lost pet. Sheriff or county? Uh, sheriff's, just sheriff's office. It, not only add a layer, the, the dog that I found a couple of weeks ago had no chip. And so what we want to do is ensure that if a pet is lost, we can not only uh, post it on our social media, there's a central location that everyone will know, you know, hopefully after this press conference, not only to register their pets, but when their pets are lost, that we're going to post it and maybe someone in that local community will be able to find that pet. As far as I know, and I, I, while I'm taking the credit while standing up at this podium, it's my staff that put this, po this program together. So uh, from what we've researched, this is the first, at least uh, regionally, from what we can see. Yes. So they can contact the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office to let, uh, let us know that a pet has been found, and we will help, help to reunite them with their owner. Yes, so we have our project Lifesaver, uh, which is what you're, you're talking about, how we um, go out. But that's, that's a program that costs $300 to the, the people. This is totally free. Um, this doesn't cost the taxpayers anything either because we have the equipment, we have the ID cards, we have the capabilities of putting together the website. So more importantly, it's ensuring or at least uh, putting together another process if a pet is lost. I think it was uh, Roy who shared that information, right, Roy, as far as how many pets well, ultimately are lost? It, well, there's like 10 million pets that are lost in the United States every year, according to the U.S. Humane Society. So the idea is to try to prevent it, as I said before. Now, you mentioned the microchips. That's, it's, it's important. That really should be done because even if you have an ID tag on a dog, or generally we're talking about dogs, uh, that they will come off, they'll get lost. A lot of people do not put their uh, ID tags, they leave it on the collar, and they, they don't leave, they take the collars off at night or a certain period of time when they're in the house, but what happens when they get out of the house? Now there's no ID tag. So the microchip is implanted in them and, it, and it's there. Every shelter has, an the SPCA as well, has a scanning device so we could determine where that dog was registered and reunited with their family. As I said, they're, they're like children. These pets are, are like children. They can't speak. And when they're lost, unfortunately, there is, is a small percentage that are actually in the United States overall that are reunited with their families again. So let's try to prevent that. And that, that is so critical. Try to prevent them getting lost in the first place. But this initiative by the Sheriff's Department, the Sheriff Toulon, is, is fantastic. This is a, a, just a great initiative. And as I said, we applaud him for that. To give you a little bit of a perspective, uh, at this shelter, we average about 300 lost pets a year. So we've got a population of 340,000 residents. Factor out how many have pets, 300 a year on average are lost. And that information that uh, people will be able to share now, and the sheriff's office can share not only with his staff, but also with the shelters that we can share that with our animal control officers when they're out and about to know that a particular pet is, is missing. So I'm going to be very optimistic and say almost all. <laughs> I don't really know. I can't, I can't give you that number, but um, it's about 300 a year. And our um, staff here is very, very aggressive in trying to reunite their pets with their owners, but certainly it's going to be a lot easier to do if A, the pet is chipped, and B, if they've been registered in this program that the sheriff has initiated. And licensed, of course. And licensed, of course. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.